This is Cal Cat, and uh, we're doing a sequel to the Mousetrap Project. The uh, the athletic center, and here we have the the school over there. That's the old Air High School. Some of where the Mousetrap Project was shot years ago. There was a scene where they found some stuff in some trees over here. Now this appears to be a construction area, so I probably don't want to mess around in here too much. The spooky mound. And yeah, there's, there's interesting things here. And it's hilarious as it's raining. Uh-oh. over this. This is Cal Cat once again. We've gone around to the back of the athletic center because there was a truck there. And it was like heading out. And they said, I don't want to, I don't want to find out what that guy's up to. He's probably doing something bad, so I didn't want to get him on film or nothing. I don't know if we can get to the Weller Adobe where I filmed Cal Cat taking his shirt off in the original because it's being renovated. So I don't think anybody's allowed to go in there. Says so, so here we are on the set of yet another park during the rainy season in February or early March. I guess it's early March now. And we come to this mysterious like artifact. It's amazing, actually. It's quite amazing. It's a puddle thing. It's probably for sacrifice and rituals. It's really scary looking. It's really cool. Yeah. So this is like a sand pit, but apparently it's been done over. Then we come to Spooky Willow Tree. Oh, yeah. Ooh, this is not where the shirt was hanging, though. That's gone. That tree's gone. That was actually elsewhere. There were two parks in that shot. One was the Ben Rogers tree. This is this is the park trail of. This looks spooky. So that's cool. Are those a park? They put up these pathways and they made it look very civilized. I liked it, but it was less civilized looking. Fifteen years ago. You know, Ruby. <laughs> These trees were shorter then. But yeah, it is really coming down, so I'm gonna go over there quickly after the truck. Okay, I'm at Ben Rogers Park. Now I'm gonna go into the Ben Rogers Park from the other side and show you the tree where the shirt was hanging from and other things from the Blair Witch parody. Ha 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 the larger Ben Rogers Park. It's the Chappelle End. This is that uh, literally covered over puddle lake that used to form at the end of Snake the Trench. That road up there is Snake the Trench, or was. It's now the sewer system for the park. Now, there it is. The other tree was not the tree. This is the tree right here. The and uh, the John Bench, which is not named after Mark's cards. And it's starting to rain again <laughs> but yeah so here's the park in the rain from the from the here's the creepy pathway <laughs> wow <laughs> we just got lost oh no and there's no map we got lost and we can't find the map <laughs> the map is lost oh shit we fuck <laughs> No! No, Optimus Prime you found me! Yes! Yes! It is true! Ooh. You have discovered me! And now I've discovered your inner Chanctorium! <laughs> so, it was raining like crazy. We tried to get out of that other uh, park, but uh, I got out of there. And now, <clears throat> we're at the... Uh, the Murphy Park from this end because we can film it normally during the day, but no. Dewey's recording. Okay, the opening scene of the parody with Spike narrating it was that he came around this pathway down here and he went around the corner saying he's going to find out what the Mousetrap Park is. We'd, uh, we basically used three, three or four parks in the whole thing. 
These are trees that have since grown really tall since then. But yeah, and these other ones on the side. Not the same tree line as in the other movie. And then, had him come around this way, up on the hillside. And it was just crazy. You just shot the whole thing right there. You got walking along here going, we're gonna find the secret of the mousetrap project. They had planted the trees since then. Yeah, this is the same pathway where that scene happened. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. Come around to the front of the movie. Ah. <laughs> I would have waited in eternity. eternity for this. Bend over prime. There was a lot more trees over here. There was more bush fort. This is where the bush fort was from pre on location. And this is where there was uh, footage from the, the movie. They knew the finale, the climax, was right over there in that field. And how we did that was actually completely staged. My ass, Prime! Yes, and now, bend over, Megatron. Oh, oh no, Prime, bend over. Uh, we have this camera set up. One of those earlier digital it was a regular camera, but it had a digital, like, processor. It didn't really work too well. And uh, it later died during Transsec 2, but I would just film that shot of the, uh, of the final scene where they're playing football. You get Spike and the Minions playing football with a camera, throwing it back and forth. Uh, they faked it. They went like this. Like that. Just, he was holding it the whole time. Like going, ah, like this. It's going like that. It's flying through the air. Ah. It was fake. So that's what he was doing. As for the uh, the witch, of course, the Blair Witch spoof turned out to be a waspinator. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So yeah, this was the bush fort. <laughs> A nondescript park that looks like it's designed like every other Silicon Valley, Milpitas, or San Jose area park. Uh, really, this looks like any other place. There's the oak tree from the scary oak tree scene. Ooh, shh, shh, dun, dun, shh. Here's the modified jungle gym set. The 99 one had some other stuff attached to it, but. It has since been changed over and there's different stuff in it. So it isn't exactly the same. There's some of the standing stones caused the silly person to freak out. Dun, dun, dun. Here's the scary, like, I hear scary footsteps thing. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Scary footsteps, yes. And there's the rings, but they took out the other rings. So these are like sucky sucky stupid rings that are just like cemented into it. This isn't nearly as much fun. <laughs> so yeah, this the uh, here's the set where they found his spectacles. This is it. Scary footage. What is this? I can't tell. It's amazing and weird. There's a strange noise coming from over here. Uh oh, it could be the witch. Look at that. Could be aliens. Out of space. There's where the strange noise is coming from. It says, Phoenix Iron Works. <laughs> so yeah, this, this was not a forest. It still isn't. But it looked like one in the dark. <laughs> We're planting more trees, so eventually there will be a forest. But yeah, it's not, obviously not. Here's the scary building they discovered at one point. The scary building, which is actually the bathrooms. Park. Look, look, check out the sun's coming out. Ooh. That'll look cool. Toward here. This fence has been replaced, but it used to look spookier. It's 
spooky fence. <laughs> and this tree still looks spooky. Ding, 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 ding. Okay, it's a rancho and then Senate at the back of it. So here we have the uh, the pillars. Where are we? The pillars. The scary pillars, which are part of an old exercise thing that is partly abandoned, even now. Here we come over to the uh, the pillars. I see these strange markings indicating that rat trap was taken well as the other ones in the story. There was, uh, there, here there was actually a, uh, like a picture, there was a picture there, like a signboard on wood. And this is an exercise machine, but device was built as a torture device. But yeah, it's a torture device. Got, uh oh, looks like the Decepticon blood cult has returned and broke something else that's not related to that into several pieces, probably to show their power as a cult. And here we have this weird tree, which was weird 15 years ago, it's now even weirder because it got pushed over and, and hit by lightning a couple times. Weird tree. So scary looking. It's very, it's very cinematic. And then there's these logs next to it. Which are part of the cult. And then there's this pole. Going up there. Big pole. It's a power pole of some kind. And there's another one next to it. Actually, I wonder if that is a power. Be some sort of like abandoned, like sly uh, device, torture device, perhaps, used to hang the uh, cult from. But the whole, the original cast has not been seen since that. <laughs> Usually, some of them have. Yeah, they ended up being transpired. But the joke is that, oh, they, they were taken. Just like in the original Blair Witch Project, and I, they're taken up from the classics from the 70s, you know, those old splatter punk sort of, sort of ones, you know, like, uh, and they were saying, you know, well, well, you know, the Blair Witch is real, and these, this is found footage. And yeah, even though it wasn't, they just had really good hype, and they're like, oh, it was real. So everybody went to this movie thinking it was a snuff movie and everyone's gonna die. Even the actors that were in it. But as it turns out, it was not a snuff movie. It was all make-believe. The actors went on to star in other movies, mainly horror movies. Uh, the, uh, the main lead, she went to star in um, the mini miniseries Taken. Not Aliens. Um, <laughs> so yeah, so they didn't actually die. The guy ended up in horror movies. Um, so yeah. So here we are, uh, ew, here is the spooky wall. This so, ooh, that looks cool. Spooky clouds, spooky clouds. Oh. Pathway. There's another tree that was apparently either whacked by a car or something <laughs> years ago. Yeah. So then we come up to here. Spooky territory. Oh, the spooky fort. We film it like this to make it look spookier. Wahahaha. <laughs> 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 Okay, here's, here is the uh, exercise equipment used in the uh, scary, we found the cult base scene, Woo! And here it is, here's the cult base. And here you have <laughs> the Auric Heart Check Fitness Cluster. This leftover exer equipment from <laughs> a billion years ago. 
Well, the 80s, the late 80s. So here we have uh, the marking stones and things. And actually, you could take little clips of this and do like a phony Inside America alien fort thing and say like this was some sort of like like pre-Columbian site and that goofball from that show would come over here with his camera crew. <laughs> And even if you told him it wasn't, even if you said it's a hoax, he would believe it anyway. You like, no, it really is. You're just saying that because the government told you to. Uh, so there you go. Um, here's the uh, spooky cult site. Especially spooky films like this. Actually, when they're making the Blair Witch movie, they uh, I don't know them personally or anything, but I read about it. And they were making uh, a lot of, uh, they pretended they were lost. They actually got lost. And they were pretending they were lost. And most of the time, they were right near a road. So they actually weren't that far into the woods. But the camera crew were apparently doofuses. So yeah, here's the uh, other part. I don't think much of this was in it. Except maybe the part where the guy was trapped in that little thing over there way over there so yeah here's the park and it's really kind of cheesy i think some of this actually was in here here's the uh it's an alien creature of unknown intent ah actually that's kind of cool that's what was on the ship oh fuck that no, just kidding. oh I was on the ship. <laughs> the air of the spaceship. Mmm, cow cat dropped an F bomb. Bend over, Megatron. Oh, oh no, Prime. Bend over. Ah. <laughs> I would have waited in eternity, eternity for this. <laughs> oh, so that's still got the crossover thing. Saved it on this one. Yeah, none of them have the pull up monkey bars. They're all gone. So oh, yeah, that's in a park. Girl, this. It's the church. Yeah, and I don't mean the kids. I mean this card right here from the seafood city. <laughs> no, the card. No. Now, no, Optimus Prime found me. Yes, yes. it is true. Ooh. You have discovered me, and now I've discovered your inner sanctorium. Right. Mm, that tree over there and that light looks like some kind of weird ass, like Michael Bay hey, Transformer. Mm. So, that was basically it. I walk back and see what all this is about, you know together into something. Also a documentary on the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. I was just I was just thinking of something hilarious. You know you like the, the American undercover people? They might be thinking that this is like Freemason work. The evil Freemasons who somehow built this in antiquity, even though they didn't. So Brown Park. Could have been a mysterious alien. Cowcat 95. And that does not say resident. It says Freeman. You're reading that wrong. Cowcat 95. He's not one. Half, no sack. Oh, I do hope some of this turns out because it's hilarious.
Excellent, and the sun's coming up, so escaped from the aliens and the witch and all that. And now, turn to the land of the living. Ah ha 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 now this here's the backyard and uh, that's where they filmed a lot of the scenes with it. There used to be a fort back there but it's gone. So yeah, that's what went on there. The fort's gone. Stairs and pathway built since. So yeah, that's what's out here. Got to show you that. The, this is not the original deck, it was rebuilt. But uh, to look like the original one. So yeah. That's one last uh, leftover thing from it. Yeah, that Blair Witch thing, as I said in the commentary, there's no reason to go over that. As I, it was a uh, made-up thing. So Blair Witch. Project. Yeah. So. So yeah, the the studio. It was directed by somebody. Had camera angles. It had apparently three hours of footage on a 16 millimeter camera. I want to know how they did that. Interesting. Um, <laughs> that kind of thing. Uh, and the actors were later in other movies, so they couldn't have been snuffed. Although one of the actresses says, is this going to be a snuff movie? Am I actually going to be killed at the end? <laughs> no, Waspinator will take you to your spaceship and have his way, his tentacle, or his claw, foot, rectal probe. <laughs> rectal probe. Yes, I'm, I'm sure that they didn't really do that to them. We're on the ship, but it's funny. So, yeah. Space aliens. And uh, the whole thing is just bizarre. Uh, Spike. Yeah, you won't be seeing Chip. You won't be seeing Marlo. Plus, they're the other guy. Um, but, uh, because they're the same guy. So, we had some confusion there on the set. And, uh, we had some crows. Well, not really. They're clawing in the background. We didn't have the crows. Kelly would think we had the crows. No, we did not actually have them. Tom Brookston, yeah? And, uh, yes, um, also... I was also playing Marlowe in the movie, which was confusing, because there wasn't really a Marlowe fuck you yet, so technically Tom Brookston is the same guy, so it's kind of confusing. That's what was happening, so, yes. And, yes, um... Uh, it's Spike over there and Cal Cat over there. And um, yes, so there weren't really that many people, so it was really confusing in the movie, I thought. Um, yeah. I would like to ask Spike about all that other stuff, you know. You know the universes and whatnot, and coming out of the time warp 15 years later and everything. 
all that jazz. Um, Ooh, and we were, we were filming some of that footage out there walking along uh, for the sequel here. Uh, yeah, yeah, Cat actually got briefly lost in the maze. Actually, on the way back, Kelly got lost in the maze. But we got out, and they got out. Um, the, the center is weird. There's aliens. <laughs> they, they kept us in there because they wanted to probe us some more. And Cat liked it. So, mm. aliens. They were Transformer aliens, yes. They were Transformer aliens, and they, they were Beast Wars characters. And uh, the time warp didn't work, and some of us ended up back there. Hence the Marlow reappearing through time and space. Ooh. To replace the others in the Trans Tech period, which was a, a fanfic. Yes, alien, aliens, alien probe. Yes. I don't have much to say about the alien probe, except I rather liked it as well. Um, uh, it was, of course, uh, administered by a Decepticon, and, uh, and, and he was disappointed that I rather liked it. And, um, yes, so, mm, well, you know. So I got nothing on that one. But yeah, the Decepticons left go, let us go, and now we're here. And uh, there's a little bit of Transformer still in the story, but not so much. You're not really going to hear them, probably at all, in this one. Because <laughs> you really can't show that, you can't film that, just because it's impossible to like, do a live-action Transformers thing. Uh, what we did was with toys, and then we wrapped it with people, and it really didn't look very good. I tried to put the other one on the internet, and it didn't work. This new internet thing. Yeah, and uh, that's crows. Crows. What would you really say about that? And uh, no Max Cards likes Monty Python. And we have crows crowing in the background. It's really scary. <laughs> He's got to have that. It was real. That was actually real right there. <laughs> Most of this isn't, though. Oh, yes, the, uh, the parks and all that is. The Blair Witch parody. Yes. That's all what it was. Blair Witch parody. Went to the parks and filmed the parody at night. This camera can't handle that light. Can barely handle this light. So here we are. Back again. Beyond the robot land. Mm. Alien probe. Probably piss off some alien enthusiasts who would be like, Oh, how could you say that? Oh, law. It's like, if you really think that you are probed by an alien, there's something wrong with you. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I like those park shots, too. Those nice. Although, supposedly spooky alien. Oh, there's the crow again. Aha, quoth the raven. Well, it's not really a raven. There's between a raven and a crow. Raven's a slightly larger and pointier tail. And it usually makes a more of a car noise than a crack noise. That's a crow back there. They crow. That's not a raven. They're bigger. Nastier. More, more majestic at the same time. Crows. Ravens. Mmm. But I hear that in some parts of America, somebody learned what raven cream tastes like. I wouldn't know. No, somebody did. I don't really know what that would taste like other than perhaps salt and lemon, maybe. Four and twenty blackbirds baked in a pie. Or <laughs> yes. Hmm. <laughs> wow. Watching has nothing to do. What you are watching right now has nothing to do with Raven come. But there are ravens flying around in the air. Which is not even esoteric, but yeah, aliens. Mm. Greetings, this is Silly Kelly. And now, I'm at the Hillcrest Park that we're looking for yesterday. And now, I'm gonna go over to that park and see if there's anything unusual over there. So this is gonna be real brief. Here we go. This is Hillcrest Park. And I'm going to go around in here onto Hillcrest Park. One of the parks from the uh, Blair Witch Parody. 
from the other side. Ooh, the other side. Yeah, this is one of them, so. Yeah, so this is one of the parts from the uh, parody. Uh, yeah, and it's raining, so really not much to look at other than it's one of the parks. Uh, and uh, we're trying to find it yesterday and couldn't. Here it is today. And that's all this is, just park. Um, so, yeah, I'm um, going to leave right now before anybody shows up. This is Silly Kelly again, and I'm at Ben Rogers Park on the other end of the uh, Chappelle Park. I'm going to go out to the park. There's nobody out there. Walk around and see if there's anything unusual in this park. It's part of the, uh, the movie. The thing. Documentary. So, yeah. I'm gonna leave the Spike like Doofus character. He has Doofus, yeah. So, yeah, we have, uh, let's see. We have the trees. And there's another bush fort way over there. I'm not gonna wander too far over here. They just cut the grass. Um, I'm just gonna get some of this over here, which is not on some of the other videos. Because it's interesting looking. Here we have the clue that explains it all. A piece of wrapper. A wrapper from a uh, jute. That's a wrapper. That explains it all. Um, let's see. Uh, here we have picnic benches. This could be the signs of the cults right there. This bench. Yeah, across the way is the, those other benches from yesterday. But we're not going over there. So in this, there is the drinking fountain and the mysterious sewer grate. Ooh. It's not the same drinking fountain as the one in the movie though. That was the one in the athletic center. This is probably meant as some sort of draining unit. Doesn't look as much torturous as the other ones did. It also has a series of rings to hang from. And it's a, uh, yeah, a thing. There's into the Chappellite lands from this end. This was an often a place to cross to go to the Snake Trench, which is now that street just over yonder. And uh, yeah, so it's not a, not a snake trench anymore. And here's this big tree. Creepy looking tree. And it does kind of look like a forest right here. The bush fort of this land. Ooh, it's mysterious. Bush fort. It's really cool. So yeah. So yeah, that's pretty much what you got over here. That's it. Um, so, yeah, no, really there are people. Anyway, so, I'm gonna go now. It's a dog. Amazing. Look at it. It has such poise. Such, such poise. Such, such tracking skills. It's amazing. It's a dog. We're gonna come over here. Freaking car. We're walking away from them, because they're, they're over there. They filmed the bush fort. It's not really much of a bush fort. But it is where the trees of death were back in the day. There's like a little alcove over here. There's sort of some other stuff. It's kind of raining. It's kind of yucky. There's a little trail here. This is very interesting over here. They have these little doors and their fences. And they have these little, like little, like things and strange plants marking their territory. They're really extremely deadly over here. Dangerous. Here's a bench of the same classification as the Ola benches and the John bench, but it has clearly been cleaned over in a newer variety and uh, well-preserved. Remains of a bush fort that's been heavily cut back and then Oh, really strange, marking this territory. Very odd, mysterious. 
Mm. So yeah, um, maybe I just so, and this is what's on the other side of this park. Uh, so we have over here a tree. Look at this. It has big ash gash in it, like it got hit by lightning or something. But it looks like a slit. A slit tree. Ew. <laughs> Country, <laughs> but that's weird. That's a weird one though, because I never seen one look like that. But yeah, there we go. There's something else. Actually, Calcat gave that the probe. Mm. <laughs> With Spike from the other scene, wearing a different shirt. Plane flying overhead, no crows this time. When we were on the ship, I discovered the probe. And apparently the probe, the, the probe um, was taken and wanted to show it to Calcat, but he was busy with the android. So, yeah, um, then we found the android after he was done with it. We don't know where the aliens went, but they let us run around the ship. Or the Decepticons were off raiding something else and they weren't paying attention. Well, so here's what happened. We were on the alien ship, and then the alien came along, and they had the android, and then I had the android. <laughs> So yeah, the android. We found the probe and the android, the aliens, and yes, um, Tom Ruxin, and uh, we, uh, the Calcat had his way with it. And the Decepticons had already left at that point, apparently. And uh, yes, and they released us. We have not seen Silly Kelly though. The spike up there and Calcat directly in front of me. And yes, so, so there's there's what happened with the alien. Um, yeah. So the the, the Decepticons were were delighted that strange that we uh, were being tortured, but then they discovered we weren't being tortured. We were in fact liking it. So that didn't work too well. Um, they liked it, so we liked it. So they let us go again. They're gonna quit abducting us because because we like it. Um, yeah. Or they uh, found the greys. Ooh. So yeah, basically, uh, yeah, cat was doing the alien. This time he got thrilled, but we didn't exactly. Nothing really happened. So apparently, I wasn't wearing any pants, which was rather amusing. Not sure where my pants actually went. Um. Yes. What 
What's that? It's Kelly. He's come back from the alien spaceship to warn us about the Decepticons. I don't believe this, but he just was on the alien ship. And the Decepticons ship. And they want us desperately. Yes, they like cow cats so much, they want us all. I volunteered, of course. <laughs> yes, it's true. It was the most amazing ever. Well, yeah, of course I screwed the alien. Who wouldn't? Alien was hot. The alien was a robot. Android thing. Actually, it didn't make much noise at all. Yeah, well, it's Kelly. That we found him, so, or he found us. Yeah. <laughs> but we couldn't show that in this movie, because we get an X rating. <laughs> at least someone would wonder. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes. So, the aliens were here, and rather had them. Yes, and us as well. The probe went into their butts. Well, not really. Uh, the aliens, the alien android, apparently, received another pro kind of probe. Yes, from Calcat, apparently. <sighs> what is this? Ha! Not even sure what this is. Could be. A UFO. Yeah. I don't think that's a UFO. No, that's that's a toy. <laughs> I don't think it's a Decepticon either. <laughs> so I shagged it. Dun, dun. Dun. What is he doing? Why is he doing it? He's... We don't know what happened to the android. The next day we found parts of it everywhere. And uh, rather, uh, run into uh, other, other things. Yes, so, I don't know what happened to it. It's gone. <laughs> and the ship took off. Hmm. Silly. But, interesting. <laughs> we shall see then later whether the aliens come back and try to do something to us again. Find out who their leader is. All that stuff. And whatever Clint Cowpoke was up to. Signature. <laughs> yes. I see. Yes, I can expect that kind of thing from Cowcat. But not from Silly Kelly. Or from you. Yes, you had the probe and you used it. Yes. And it was your probe. Mm, yeah. When they come back. Then. In the butt. Okay. Well, it's still a little cloudy and overcast. This here's Clint Cowpoke, aka Buster McLeod from Transtain. And this here is my version of the adventure as I walks along. Let's see what I can find. Since I'm like Indiana Jones, kind of. I can find clues other people can't. Dun, 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 dun. There's the mysterious part. So yeah, um, the aliens took uh, all the cast members 
to their ship. And apparently, the rectal probe story has it that uh, <laughs> that when they got taken to the ship, they encountered an android female, which Cow Cat then immediately jumped on, and <laughs> one thing led to another. <laughs> Well, reckon he probably, you know, likes android chicks. Android chicks. <laughs> Old Bart's cards likes animals. He digs. Here we have some strange, strange monuments all set up. Look all mysterious like. They appear to be ancient. That's just, well, they're, they're relics from space. Actually they're not because I know there aren't any ancient because because in this one here Legends of Milpitas uh, I'm not there so that just means it's a hoax right there. <laughs> mm. Legends of Milpitas. Pause on that one. There. Legends of Milpitas. Okay, there's the pillars. There's the pillars. See them pillars? I need focus. But notice that uh, the clues here actually indicate an unusual species of slob that is left behind these spoons. <laughs> the screen's all messed up. So. Here we have the slob people that have left mysterious devices for eating on the ground. Yeah. It's very mysterious. There seems to be several of these. It's almost a spoon manifestation. Very strange. See, I'm doing Indiana Jones here. Dun, 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 dun. See some more of this one. There are also straws amongst the spoons. Very unusual. Lots of straws. Very unusual. Now we come to this wood that Cow Cat noticed earlier. We can kick it over and see what's underneath it because it don't look relic-like. Now it appears that actually this piece was connected to that piece. Got broke off. Could have been connected, yeah. Somebody intentionally broke that piece. I don't know if it's exactly the same piece. Doesn't really match, but similar. Here's another piece. I don't know whether this one's related. No, no, it's not related. As you can see, completely different. Indicates the Decepticon blood coat must have come through here. Look, more garbage. Reckon some kids were having lunch and the Decepticons got them. Mm. Probably killed them. There's another straw. So that's what's over here. So I'll find some other clues to indicate what kind of strange life forms put all that stuff there. Hmm. It will happen to Optimus Prime as well. well. I'm sure Optimus Prime's around here somewhere. Yeah. Optimus Prime, leader of the Autobots. But not the Michael Bay version, although that is the same guy. It's still Peter Cullen. But, but the other guy, Megatron, he didn't want to be in it. He read the script. Well, they would, they, I guess it won't in Frank Welker, but he didn't want to do it. Yeah, but. But uh, Cullen and Welker were in Transformers Prime. And Decepticon's going overhead right now. Flying overhead. So, yeah. Zoinks! It's a clue, Shaggy! It is a clue. It's a coffee cup. Don't touch it, though. It's probably a trap. Well, it makes sense out of these here markings. They're recent. On this here pole. Papa, Baka. I know it's a Landis block. Another gang. We all, but they got like a couple of these junior gangs written on the walls here. 
But everybody knows this here is Minions territory. Decepticon territory and all that. It always has been, always will be. Them guys are just sharing it. Here we have a tree that's fucked up and diseased. This tree is screwed. Over here we have more clues indicating where they might have gone. This here's a markings of some kind. Similar to the markings in white. They could be runes from the rune stone. Yeah. A rune stone. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, the Kensington rune stone. I happen to know the Kensington rune stone's fake. That's the missing piece. If we put that together, it's a board. Somebody broke a foot. Now we got some other stuff over there since I'm good at doing the Indiana Jones stuff. And look over here. Over here yonder. That's where that puddle was. More garbage, but it's cups. And that puddle had a, had a drain. Puddle's gone. Park people must have come out. Or the aliens. Let's say it's the space aliens, because on Ancient Aliens it's always space aliens. So they, they came out and they uh, poked the drain and sucked out the water to fill their ship. Space aliens. Yeah, that's it. There's no logical explanation, therefore it must be space aliens. Because because they got that whole uh, logic puzzle there backward. Exactly. And look right next to it. These are current markings of the cult or some other gang that thinks they are badasses. But in actuality, they're not. They just know how to tag walls. Well, hell. Yeah. This here's a, that there over there is the cricket course and the baseball softball field, but like, but that's also an alien landing strip, perfect for the mother ship to beam down right here. Land right here. There's a cloud cover. They're in a cover of rain and storm and stuff. Let's get a shot up above here, showing the ship coming down. <laughs> Alien mothership, that's right. So I'm gonna walk over here to the to the ritual idolistic place. I'm gonna have a look over there. Okay, let's make sure that we got footage of this over here. Going back to the site. Make sure that silly thing was recording over here. Alright, this is um the alien site. And, uh, well, it ain't really, but it should be. Here in this alien site, we have some markings by the, uh, cult. Because they, uh, they mark the benches. And, uh, mark their territory. Unfortunately, they don't know the Decepticon minions rule it. Now, here we have these indicators. These are training courses for, for them to train them to go fight zombies or aliens or androids. Or whatever else, but we know that Calcat is rumored likes androids. So, <laughs> um, if one showed up, he'd probably try to mate with it. But yeah, so that's this thing, and all these little symbols. And then I said that these ones like this, there's one here, and the one over yonder, could be used to probe someone's butt. But you get splinters up there. Kind of be like that guy with a horse in Washington. He got killed when he decided to do it with a horse. Went straight up there. If only he'd been on top, he wouldn't die. Of course, the horse wouldn't felt it. <laughs> yeah, I thought I'd throw that. Now, how those ancient aliens people work is they think that something that's really obvious and can be easily proven isn't really obvious it's aliens so they would assume that it didn't rain but rather that aliens put that puddle there because that's what they would do it can't be scientifically plausible therefore it must be aliens yeah 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 now this is probably this was probably a bush fort a long time ago you see the remnants of it being a bush fort Here we have, this is at the crossroads of this park here, we have these markings indicating that this group that settled here 
LSD or DLS LSD and that uh, yeah and that this group over here crossed out this one so they that means they're dead now and somebody put up a uh, sign there they're happy about it mm. recording over here in the Bob Brown Park where we back in the day when it was Yellowstone Park Filmed in here a lot of bush fort stuff way before on location. There was no film footage of that. Uh, yeah, oh, and then trans tech, a little bit of trans, but no trans tech. It was all in in house. And uh, the the final scene, the, the closing scene where Optimus Prime and Spike are somehow playing catch with a camera. That wouldn't work, but it was funny. Uh, that was all, oh, uh, catch it, Spike, find it now, cling uh. Yeah, so that's what was going on there. Okay, this is the wall of remembrance. In the city, because this is something Calcat didn't get. Um, no participant practicing on a wall before 8 a.m. Well... Do they mean practicing sex? Because them bush forts over yonder, here back in the day, when there was bush forts and bush all overgrown, there was lots of sex and mating going on over there. It wasn't aliens though. Everybody always assumes it's alien. Well, if we a minute ago, you know, that like, whenever somebody gets thinks they're getting probed by the alien, they were probably just molested by like some brother or cousin or something and they're remembering that as like an anal space critter and all it is is that either that or the psychologist they met with is a quack and he's like you got abducted by aliens there's no other explanation for why you just like it in the butt yeah well I got an explanation for you <laughs> <laughs> the remains. Uh, the remains over here. The spooky fence. Spooky fence. Spooky fence. Spooky fence. There it is. So yeah, there's a spooky fence. All saying like aliens, alien abductions in the butt. What in the heck purpose would they have for doing that? Besides, because they want to. Because they know everything about humans if they travel light years to get here. They don't need to probe your butt. That's because they want to. Because they're like, this would be funny if we did this. Uh-oh, looks like one of the birds got taken out. And there's another feather on the ground. Looks like it could be the alien shamans. He's talking about them shamans too saying that they did an experiment where other people took the drugs the shamans took and they also saw what the shamans saw it's not extra dimensional alien beings that's what it does to your brain that's stupid <laughs> extra dimensional aliens it's gotta be there's no rational explanation for why getting high would make you do that yeah so that's all I gotta say about that that would be enough. Mmm, it's Mark's cards. Oh, yes. We're on the set of um, Mousetrap Project 2, and we're about to run out to the park. So. Sequel to a classic. <laughs> God, this is on the fly. <laughs> Action. Well, <laughs> I found me an opening. <laughs> Guards. Well, <laughs> Uh, appears I'm in the alien spacecraft. Somewhere in the Decepticon ship. Yep, there's spooky stuff down in there. <laughs> yeah. Oi, Mr. Scott. I've not got the Jeffrey's tea working again, Captain. Oi, no. Oi. Oh, shit. Just kidding, I'm not really Mr. Scott. But we'll keep it in there because he's just fucking around in the thing. Like, you know, one time, 
I was on that there Only in America show with Larry. That boy can't handle Cajun food. <laughs> Hell, he did. Hell sure. he did. <laughs> I'm doing that again, but like going faster. <laughs> Just out of curiosity's sake, you don't have to. <laughs> How much? Keep the camera rolling. Camera's rolling. We come to this other passageway because I slid down the other one up there, and I'm sliding into the into where I think the bridge might be. Of course, I don't really know. Figuring, unlike a Star Trek ship, this a transformer ship, so maybe the bridge isn't up so high. Maybe it's down the middle somewhere. Yeah. Okay. I'm all breathy and stiff because I've been traveling for thousands of miles. Or, yeah, sure. <laughs> okay. Okay, you got the light? I do. Action. Okay. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Your knee actually hit the camera. <laughs> Oh, what? Disney's gonna sue somebody. And George Lucas. I'm in the Decepticon spaceship. Yeah. Yep. Hope this thing isn't radioactive. <laughs> My junk's probably gone now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh oh. Mm. <laughs> the rectal probe. Can you see me climbing up this thing? Yep. Uh. I don't need to climb all the way up it though. Nope. <laughs> yeah. Still going? Yep. <laughs> Look at that thing. Okay. Are you ready to play one of the one of the Jaegers? It was. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm at the steps here. I'm gonna come down these here steps all dramatically get Star Trek legs. Hang on. Dun, dun, dun. Let me get these actual steps in the shot. Okay, go for it. <coughs> I wonder how long I've been in this silly spaceship anyway. No more. For something. Okay. <laughs> that looks awesome. <laughs> ah, it's the alien. <laughs> now you could say something like Strabag. That's a metal shot. I am Strabag. That's a metal shot. <laughs> I have been damaged in my dermis. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not. You're Mark's cards. How'd you get in here? Oh, shit. It's you. <laughs> well, it's kind of a long story. And uh, it involves one of these. <laughs> I thought so. <laughs> so the, the space alien leader told you he, he wanted to kiss the scepter and it was that <laughs> See, the thing is, they call this model the Astro Pop. <laughs> but I'm here to tell you, it's not really that sweet. <laughs> I actually went back for this. Uh, I had to barter for it. <laughs> I stole this from the control console. Oh, sure, showing me up. <laughs> I see, Lone Star, that your Schwartz is not as big as mine. <laughs> Oh, yeah, well, mine comes in seven different flavors. <laughs> mine only comes in 
blue licorice? <laughs> Saber beats rock. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yes, I know you're on the ship, Mr. Cars. How did you get here in a way? Well, it's uh, kind of a funny story. And it involved uh, the probe. I was uh, making use of a porta john that was out in the middle of a cornfield. I believe it was in Kansas. <laughs> uh, it's kind of hard to tell because it's all just corn, but <laughs> speaking of corn, I was, I was in the in the outhouse. Toto wasn't anywhere near you. What they must have done was picked up the entire outhouse without my knowing it, because I went in in the cornfield, and when I opened the door again, Ooh, like an it was kind of this cool science fiction-y thing going on with like, <laughs> you know, glowy, flashy lights. And, uh, and the funny thing is, though, when I looked at them up close, a lot of them looked kind of cheap. Like there was maybe Christmas lights that were just sort of painted funny and stuck in like the console. I figured maybe it was like some kind of space metal. Might have been cardboard though. <laughs> it's kind of hard to tell. And but, the space uh, aliens looked like 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 frat boys or something. Yeah, kind of. So I sort yeah. of figured like I was either being with uh, androids been abducted by the the, the most budget conscious and cheap of all aliens, <laughs> or it was like a frat house hazing and it just gone horribly wrong or right, depending on where the evening was going to go. <laughs> so anyway, that's pretty much I've been wandering around ever since. There, there were a few, like I say, incidents <laughs> involving. But, she said, kiss my scepter. Yeah, for the most part, uh, this is, yeah, it's, uh, it's been sort of like a little vacation, frankly. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like earlier what I was saying was like, you know, like you're recording that? Yep. yep. Oh, man, that's good local stuff. <laughs> that's from Milpitas. It's not good. <laughs> it's probably local. That's what I'm saying. Uh, that that rem that give brings back memories, but not not of the probe. <laughs> One time, a friend and I, Jim and I, from a Star Cracker, we watched Beavis and Butthead, and we was like Beavis and Butthead. I mean, literally. And there was it was all over the basement at Tim's house, because him and them his brother was his friend were blazing up, I guess. Yeah, Clint. So they were all getting stoned. So that's where Clint comes from, Clint. Yeah. Yep. But uh, yeah, so um, how long have I been on this spaceship? Do you know? <laughs> I got a contact buzz at a Yes concert one time. It was about the closest I've ever been. <laughs> I've had more than a few. Well, oh, now, see, I figure we've been making these stopovers uh, about, about every two and a half weeks, and I've been here for about six and a half years. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you've been here for about maybe 10 days. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Ten days. <laughs> Damn. But I knew I, I went in a mousetrap park. It's like Milpitas potato weed or something. It's, it's, yeah. I'm, I'm guessing somebody's got a house around here with where some kids are growing plants. Take an interest in botany. <laughs> <laughs> it's good that the kids are interested in science. <laughs> I, I had a nephew that was doing that. Oh. Going to the backyard to fork. Fort burned down, there went his weed. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> I don't know if the weed was actually in the fort, but there went the place where the weed used to be. <laughs> Along with what, what used to be a drum set, as I recall. Kind of looked like a giant melted marshmallow. Mmm. And, and lots of paint. So like, oh yeah, yep. solvents and stuff. See now, if we had any of that kind of stuff, we could use it to blow up the alien spaceship like at the end of Independence Day, and it would actually be more believable than the end of Independence Day. Like that slack when they stuck that computer virus in the alien computer, like that would work. That was stupid. Yeah, well, that was see, 1999, by the way, when the last movie came out. Well, I got this theory that what they actually done was they infected that computer with Windows 95. Exactly. And it pan back and the whole damn thing just exploded. <laughs> yeah, or they put Mac in it. They put Macintosh in it. Exactly. <laughs> Little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, give it about 10 years. Ew! <laughs> the anal probe is for adult use. 
Mm, anal probe may not be right for everyone. Exactly, it's just Side right on the back here. may include glowing red eyeballs, <laughs> your teeth turning <laughs> seven different shades of color, <laughs> and possible spontaneous orgasms. With androids. I heard cow cats are in here somewhere. I was looking for them. <laughs> we'll see if I can find them. Maybe he'll come down the other way. Could be. This so place where is, is the very other labyrinthine. jacket? I, I started my oh, own there, alien cabaret. It's, uh, it's kind of a German Weimar era homage, uh, but with a little bit more drag, you know, and uh, you know all of your usual accessories. So, so yeah, mo the, mo mostly show tunes with a couple of Burt Bacharach the, covers. Uh, the grading up here. Where I am. Hold that thought. Light over here. Are you recording? Hang on. Okay, go. This is Calcata. Clint Cowpoke. I hear you around here in the Hairmarks cards. And I found one of the rectal probes. This wasn't <laughs> the one I used though. No, that's from my personal collection. Yeah! <laughs> Gross! I touched it. Ew. <laughs> if you knew where it had been, you'd either put it down even faster or possibly keep it. Well, E.T. bone home. <laughs> okay. Yeah, just kidding. Um, so, so, yeah. Not really. <laughs> so, 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 like, I was just... Where did Clint Cowpoke go? I haven't seen him. <laughs> you seen him, I seen him. I heard him. He must have gone the other I'm way. I'm trying to keep him all for myself, frankly. <laughs> well, you see what happened is, is, is you know, I was in the in the chamber with, with all the androids. All the androids without faces, but they just had mouths. They looked like Muppets or something. And and I had my way with them. All of them. <laughs> for like three days. You're going to fit right in. <laughs> I had Kermit and Miss Piggy and everything. <laughs> My whole Kermit the Frog here. It feels good. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh shit. That's just wrong. <laughs> oh Kermit. That's so good. <laughs> waka waka waka. <laughs> Jim Henson be spinning his grave for this one. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I guess it better come down there. Oh, don't. Oh. <laughs> the probe. Ah. The warmer probe. <laughs> the warmer probe. Oh. <laughs> the only way down from this angle is on oh, this thing, so. <laughs> it's green. You know, it looked like that when I uh, had it up my butt. Okay, go for it. Okay, you got me in focus? Yep. Okay, we got an action scene. Okay. Yep, come on down. Hey, Clint. Yeah, I hear you. Just don't see you. Wait, come down. Okay. <laughs> All right, where's the other? Up here. Okay. So, now you're down. In the in the book. <laughs> what what in the book? <laughs> we are funny. Uh, yeah, well there we go. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> oh, shit. I got a million of these. <laughs> <laughs> so you found the alien warlord and, and you got one of his probes. I had to get in his good graces first. And that's where this came in. A lot. <laughs> in fact, well, you know, since this is, you know, PG-13 movie, that <laughs> we're only implying it. But, but it's like, it's like, yeah, it's like, actually, I came in a lot as well. <laughs> but it's something else. Of course. Androids. Hmm. Android women. So they were, let's say, I think this alien Decepticon ship, I think what they're doing is they're collecting our sperm. 
for, for use later on, the, on their planet. That Possibly as a food source. That would explain an awful lot of the things that have happened to me since I've been here. <laughs> yeah. It might also explain why the food in the commissary is Weird. a little underwhelming. A little lemony and a little salty. Good protein. Good protein. <laughs> but not the most savory. <laughs> I, I do not recommend the chow fun. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> and I don't know if that rice stuff was actually rice because it was moving. <laughs> I don't think the chow fun was moving too. I think it was worms. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also explains a lot. <laughs> and I don't think that meat, I don't think the mystery meat was meat either. Well, that's perverse. <laughs> <laughs> like the aliens came to make us eat vegetables. <laughs> this is the most terrifying plot of them all. <laughs> exactly. It was broccoli. It could be called scary. <laughs> Actually, what, it, what they were pretty much feeding us was prison loaf. <laughs> prison loaf, yeah. <laughs> Made from prisoners. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Our prisoners have escaped. We must capture them again. <laughs> Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> oh shit, an F bomb. <laughs> <laughs> there could be one or two in a PG 13 movie. Just for the record, that's, that's not beer. These movies are not filmed under the influence of any chemical stronger than high fructose corn syrup. And lots of sugar. And, well, yep. <laughs> Excellent. Three. Rip. 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 <laughs> that looks obviously fake because it wasn't hanging. <laughs> but the other shot worked, I think. Yeah, unless you want to try it again. Now that you've done a dry run. Oh, we just put it all in there. <laughs> yeah. Some of it'll work. Look at the moon. M O N. That's the moon. Uh-huh. <laughs> that was Oscar Caliber right there. There's there's the money shot right there. <laughs> well we ain't delivered the money shot just yet. No, the money shot comes from the porno adult industry. It's true. Is that my drink over here? Yep. You already drank yours, huh? Well, some of it's still in the car. <clears throat> it's not whiskey. It's not Scotch whiskey. It's grape whiskey. Get any, getting any sand in the sand. <laughs> oh, you're doing that. Freaky thing on the floor. Please see you. So, I am. I am Orson Welles. If he had one of those things, he would have used it. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. he would have been all yes. I am Orson oh, Welles. Vincent Price. French. Champagne. Or you could be pinky in the so brain. Celebrated for his excellence. The is California champagne by Paul Masson. Inspired by that same French excellence. <laughs> it's yeah. fermented in the bottle and like the best champagne since vintage dated. So, Paul Masson. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so, hmm, what's this here thing? Uh, did we find the control room? No, no, but what I found is these things have a really interesting sort of a strawberry flavor. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know where that's been. That could be nuclear. I, it does kind of make your your mind feel a little tangly. Actually. <laughs> but I'm just sort of assuming that's what it's here for. I wonder what happened to the lightsaber. Is that the car? Uh, it's in the ship. It's over there. <laughs> <laughs> The androids, they might have found that too. Yep. So uh, I suppose this could have some kind of interface to uh, an interphasic multiplexing <laughs> control beacon. Or it could but be I'm the flux capacitor. Because I don't think they actually have any such thing on this here ship. So, what uh, are those flesh creatures doing with our space modulator? Ah. <laughs> oh, it's Dicepticons. Mm. Hello, Dicepticons. I didn't lick it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you did. Ah, you bastard! What are you doing? I that's just... not a that's not a Solanite device. Ah, you mean these aliens are from Plan Nine from outer space? In which case, the question I've always had is, what the hell happened to the other eight plans? They failed. Did they suck? <laughs> yes. What was like Plan Six from outer space? That was the one that could have been really interesting. Well, that was that was one of our plans. We we actually that one was we were just going to expel you know fart gas into the air and and then so cause the, the human race the, to fart. That's where that. the solanite bomb came from. Then. <laughs> <laughs> See, I figure by the time you get to a long distant electrodes shot into the pineal and pituitary glands of the recent dead, now you're not even trying. <laughs> you're just making stuff up. <laughs> that looks really fuck cool. That looks really cool like that. That's bad. Oh, that's awesome looking. Holy shit. Observe. <laughs> casting secret shield. Dun, 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 dun. Welcome to the house of pain. <laughs> yes, uh, this is the cow catster in the alien ship. Haha! <laughs> and now we found the way through the portal to go to the to the land of the strange blue things. So we're gonna walk over there to the strange blue things and figure out what's going on in the mysterious mousetrap park. <laughs> I'm not high at all. <laughs> Did you just barf in the alien grate? Nope, but I could. <laughs> I could fake it. <laughs> be nasty. Let me land some on the light. Yeah, no, I was just kidding about that. Because the aliens put it up my butt. <laughs> actually, actually, I found that what happened is the aliens, if you're recording. Yes. What I found was that the alien androids, well, yeah, I, I broke them. <laughs> yeah, with my awesome... Suddenliness. Ah! Exactly. And then you had to pay to replace the nuclear powered pansexual robot. Oh, the pansexual. The, the, um. What were those things? The, the, the pansexual nuclear powered auto erogenous model of the, uh, the nuclear powered pansexual. Ooh, it looked like a magical pig with marital aid stuck over it. And when he sees it, he bursts. To song. Dum, 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 dum. <laughs> Dick me, you miserable low end song. <laughs> the low end song, stick it out, man, honk at the love response. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Frank Zappa. Classic. <laughs> so, yeah. we're attempting to get. 
the mysterious Weissrost. blue thing. Which is supposedly down there. Are you at all terrified for your life? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Rather. Rather. I think mysterious blue structure appears to be life. some kind of alien Kama Sutra. Mm. Some very interesting techniques and quick hardware. So it's a sex device. This is an alien mating. You know, you know, I saw something like this once. This is part of what they're doing with it. Maybe they're training the androids how to do it like people. I knew it. Their technique has been improving. <clears throat> yes, especially this back here. Mm, and that one. Wheelchair. They even want to cripple people. It's the reverse <laughs> wheelchair. I've done that. Ah, the female superior position. <laughs> Very clever. Oh, and the spider. <laughs> or the reverse cowboy, depending on who's wow. on the bottom. And the two-fisted vault that uh, can end you up in the hospital if you do it wrong. <laughs> That's what the wheelchair one's for. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> Ooh. Crossbreeding yes. with robots, with robots. and robots. Yes. Because yes. you're really a Decepticon hybrid pretender, right? Yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. yes. In yes. fact, yes. I often pretend to be an East German woman named Gladys, and I come to nightclubs <laughs> in your world. Yes, with. Well, have artificial C cups <laughs> and double Ds, and I use them to and entice the, the and males and some of the females of your species. And the cheater. And the, and the merkin. And the cheater. And the merkin. <laughs> yes. I don't really like the merkin. It's not the best design. But it is. But its technology continues to elude us. However, I have been enticing your kind, including mm. you. Up oh to boy. our Decepticon craft for the purposes of collecting your proteins <laughs> and vital bodily fluids. Yes. Without without fear of STDs. Because they're space aliens. Oh, I didn't think of that. <laughs> uh oh! Uh, no wonder why I was itching down there. Oh dear, you might want to get to a clinic. I think I will have to as well. <laughs> uh. <laughs> 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 but anyway, we'll, we'll get tested together later, but in the, in the meantime, yes, the plan is coming to delicious fruition. <laughs> and by delicious, I mean salty with a hint of lemon. lemon. <laughs> yes. So how are you enjoying your stay? Uh, technologically advanced Deceptive pleasure cruiser. Well, Decepticorn. No one can. <laughs> <laughs> that's, but it's like, some of it's good. But uh, yeah, it's like it's like <laughs> it's like. Well, one time, what did it happen? Like one time, I was at one of them the beer drinking parties and whatnot. And they got so blasted. Oh, uh, well, one of them already the, the cross dressing. <laughs> you know, there was roofies and that stuff. And then woke up with with a dude. And he's like, you know, it's good for you. So much for me. He gave me twenty and left. I don't know if it was good or not, but I guess the 20s were something here. I can tell you that it was good because you see, it was <laughs> I knew it! As I said, I am often in disguise for my purposes. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So you've also come to Earth to, uh, to observe this Michael Bay phenomenon and possibly yes. ruin it for him. Michael Bay, quite possibly the most evil force in the, in the world. Universe. In the we world. have been attempting for some time to derail his box office clout. And yet for some reason, no matter how many times we hose the scripts and make the dialogue dumber and dumber and put even more stupid farting robot jokes into it, people robot. keep coming back for more. 
And now they got the bad, the good guy named Jaeger. Yes, I wonder where they got that from. Hmm. But if there's a cow can in it too, that'd be funny. <laughs> but, but yes. yes. Soon Michael Bay will fall. <laughs> yeah, I get indigestion just thinking about Transformers 2. Uh, oh, that was a piece of shit! Yes. <laughs> yes. yes that was. was a piece of shit. I hear one of them, a little bigger Decepticons. He says it's a piece of shit. And he would know. For Playing the wrong guy. Playing the wrong alien because Michael Bay. Michael Bay! <laughs> Yes, and we can make fun of it because you did a Michael Bay thing. But it's funny that he's mentioning it now, it's hilarious. <laughs> Actually, I think you brought Michael Bay up. I know. He's normally <laughs> the one who should not be named. <laughs> exactly, he's the Voldemort. Exactly. <laughs> he's the Voldemort of frat parties. You're the kind that you wake up with another dude instead of a chick. Well, it wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing. Mm -hmm. Depends on the uh, And It depends on whether it's furry or not. Yeah. That's Cal Cat would discover, or if it's an Android, Cal Cat's into that kind of thing. How about a robotic raccoon? Robotic raccoon chick. There were some space bunnies in there. With six boobies. The space bunny chicks, <laughs> he left them for you, because you know. Exactly. He knows a critter likes the uh, base bunnies. <laughs> space raccoon and space bunnies. Yes. I like cats. All you uh, need Clint Cowpoke. is an alfalfa cube and a beamer, and you're guaranteed a date. But well, no, the Clint Capo likes the cows. They're affectionate for fat girls. He likes them that way. <laughs> Chubby chase. <laughs> With bunny ears on. Sometimes. Kinky. <laughs> As With you can no see, cows. collecting the protein from this species is no problem. They're happy to share it around. <laughs> and so we have collected a repository of the DNA of every sentient and even non sentient species <laughs> that we have yet encountered. And then we're going to go back to Cybertron or whatever. And then we will deposit it in the artifact that we call the Cosmic Cube, which is actually just sort of a giant sperm bank <laughs> in space. Uh, yep. Yes. That's where you uh, sometimes dis deposit it in, in, in uh, other parts. but That's know, what the little round holes all over the side of it are for. It is essentially a gigantic... Uh, Nuclear-powered pansexual autoplucker. Exactly. That's why it has the ability to make sex droids. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, because everybody knows the cybernet cube thing. Husband Cube from the first movie was a giant um, sexual recreation device. Procreation um, device. Yeah. Re and pro and <laughs> all the free. And every other kind. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> because this is a lot more interesting than the next Michael Bay movie, I'm telling you. Shouldn't <laughs> 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 Mark's cards and cow cat. Uh, clean cow poke. Yeah, clean cow poke. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Cow cat's over there. I'm a little disoriented. The aliens <laughs> dropped us off. Yep. We appear to because be... we couldn't afford that special effect. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Even in this day and age where, like, you know, there's Ar Argentinian <laughs> kids making professional quality CG in their broom closets, we still can't afford it. Because we. Kind of can't. cheap. Because we're cheaper than a dime store hooker. We better look a little bit. Wait, what do we. I have no fucking idea. <laughs> <laughs> what happens when you don't have a script? <laughs> also, we... oh, here we go. <laughs> so what closer. the fuck are we doing? <sighs> Camera's gonna fall. <laughs> Alright, let's just do more of a dramatic close up like this. Say like, all right. So, Clint, we're back. What? We're back on Earth. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. They dropped us off. Yeah, cause we, yeah, we got some of that other footage. But yeah, they, they dropped us off here on, in the. Uh, well, we were. I think we were on Earth the whole time, but we was on the ship. That might explain a few things. 
Because we was in that park. Because I thought the view of space looked an awful lot like suburban Milpitas. Hmm. And the view never changed. Yeah, that's one mystery solved. But if we're back in Milpitas, Word. it means we're safe. But our DNA is on its way to another galaxy to be turned into automatons for some nefarious Decepticon purpose. Except Decepticons are kind of silly, so what they're probably going to do... You can't really do human DNA and cyber DNA, you know, so so they're going to screw it up because they don't know what they're doing. It's true. They're pretty incompetent. <laughs> Inept, even, as aliens go. I mean, their whole invasion basically involved using galactic glory holes to collect protein and robots. samples. <laughs> Sex <laughs> robots. Sex robots. robots. Don't forget the robots. I never will. Mm, especially the bunny ones and raccoon ones. Mm. Well, not... Now let's hear from Cal Cat when he shows up over by. Yeah, let's or. let's wait for Cal Cat. Well, yeah, he, he's gonna way. show up eventually. I think he's in the bushes. <laughs> oh, I think you left one of the humans behind. This Cal Cat, I discovered him. I hear Optimus Prime. <laughs> he done rescued Cal Cat. Well, that's nice. Here he goes now. Optimus Prime taking off. Yep. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sheep Honda. <laughs> but maybe that was Cliff Jumper. <sighs> yeah. Pretending to be Optimus Prime. That's it. That's it. That's the story I'm sticking to it. <laughs> Back for more sexual exploits, I see, Mark's cards. Always. Uh, always. And I have returned from my sexual exploits. <laughs> you won't believe what happened on that ship. I might. It was like Captain Kirk's wet dream. The aliens. They were all robots. And... They didn't mind if I met them all <laughs> in first contact, and second, and third, and fourth, and fifth. I don't know how many contacts. <laughs> it was amazing. <laughs> well, let's hope you didn't bring back to Earth any communicable diseases. Space diseases. Because well, modern science probably can't cure them. Uh -oh. They're out there checked out. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, the rectal probe. I'm sure you'll recognize this little trinket. Oh, yes. it's one of them, yes. <laughs> Is this the one you got, though? Yep, I brought this one here back as a memento of my happy times on the ship. <laughs> With the bunny ones and raccoon ones. Oh, yes. And all yes. the furry ones. Or as I had all the ones that looked humanoid. <laughs> Some of them didn't have faces, though. Some of them were just mouth and looked like a Muppet, sort of. Weird. Some of them were just sort of like gelatinous blobs with weird appendages sort of coming out of them. You didn't really go for those too much. Yeah. Although Clint Cowpoke did apparently have one in the dark that looks sort of like a blob. Just he thought it he mistook it for a fat lady who so jumped on it. <laughs> I don't know. If, I don't know if he uh, accomplished his mission, but but he did have fun jumping on it. <laughs> like a big pillow. <laughs> yeah, kind of so. sunk into it like. <laughs> <laughs> It's just wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so, my latest invention is the probe cam. <laughs> I can barely see you, if at all. Oh, there you are. Ha! <laughs> Perry! Ah. Thrust, Perry. Oh, yes. Thrust was a Decepticon. This little baby got me out of more and more tight situations up there than you can possibly imagine. And it'll look really cool in some movies when might use that. Exactly. I'll have to give me one myself. Investment. So, back in Milpitas, after all this time, and I can honestly say <laughs> that it looks pretty much the same. Uh, I'm going to block it. Yes, pretty much the same. Yeah. Well, well, you haven't been gone for weeks or months. No, or it was the time more. dilation effect of being on the ship. So what seems to me to be centuries, <laughs> centuries of illicit pleasures, <laughs> the likes of which Shahrazad himself only ten couldn't even conceive of. Or maybe even a week. You probably aren't there a week. But, yeah. as I said, my thinking was fuzzy from licking the strawberry device <laughs> on the, in that weird part of the ship. And then that pretender that looked vaguely like you because they used your DNA. Oh, yeah. That was weird. Oh, yeah. So it's funny to think that somewhere up there... In the cosmos, you have like a like a sibling, or a There's child, a little from piece thing. of me having adventures of the most carnal <laughs> that I've ever encountered. Things that I myself can only dream of 
he is experiencing. And so therefore, I go with a smile. <laughs> it's a service with a smile. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> And now, light our darkest bedroom. <laughs> now, no, Optimus Prime found me. Yes, yes. it is true. Ooh. You have discovered me. And now I've discovered your inner chanctorium. My ass, Prime! Yes, and now, bend over, Megatron. Oh, oh no, Prime! Bend over. So he's not one. Half, no sack. Oh, can I see? Hacks, the door's up. So the Decepticons took uh, Cowcat and Clint Cowpoke, and then uh, last night they let them go. And they had some strange stories to tell over there. And as we come to the end of our mysterious story, it appears that our intrepid heroes discovered the secret of the ship and found out all about. The, the, the evil magician who was inside the ship, who was apparently uh, experimenting on humanity so that he could find their DNA and protein and use it to make robot clones of people because he was obsessed with the Transformers meets Robotech and with the Michael Bay Transformers. One he liked, the other he didn't. So yeah, um, so it was all, it was all yet another Silly uh, hoax thing, <laughs> I guess, in a way. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Just, uh, I don't know if that particular alien will show up again or not. Maybe he will. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it on that front. Yeah. So, I guess I'm going to go to the alien ship now. Well, not really. I'm just going to go. There we are. Ah, Tumbruxton or Marlow, you here? And um, yes, uh, the, we learned all about the aliens and the Decepticon connection appeared to have something to do with a weird crazy magician guy who looked vaguely like Mark's cards and there was a Mark's cards in there too and he'd been abducted by the aliens and I found that rather amusing and, and, that, the, and that Cowpoke was apparently running about with a lightsaber. How'd he get one? That's sort of odd, yes. So it definitely was pranky and silly and very, very silly. Uh, yes. So that's all I really have to say about that, I guess. Um, and yes, yes, I do rather like kitty cats. So I'm going to go pet some cats. I'll see you all a bit later, perhaps. You'll see me around somewhere, somehow, some way. Mm. So I'll be going now. Uh, good day, Julio. Tea, trumpets, whatnot. Yep. Uh oh, my hat's blocking me. I'll do it like that. This here's Clint Cowpook. Mmm. Yeah, it was pretty peculiar on that our alien spaceship. Yeah, yeah. Mark Cards was there. That was interesting. I had the lightsaber. Well, I, had, um, I found that in the cargo bay. Other ones, and that—that's where I, I. Then I wandered into the part with the robots and androids and all that. And then, and then I had 
I found that big giant one and it was horny and it had and you know it was it was fully automated so I guess it was there you know for anybody that liked uh, chubby chubby ch ch girls so so I, I obeyed the alien and um, participated to hey, with that there thing there yeah so cow cat's not the only one that done done it with uh, alien yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what we did on the, we were on the alien ship and we did what we had to do to survive on the alien ship with the Decepticons. We didn't give up some protein and DNA yet again. Eat your heart out, you ancient aliens people. I actually done an alien. Yeah. And Cal Cat over yonder, he also done an alien. Yeah, the alien androids, we left them behind and we don't have any footage of what the android looks like with the lights on because it would look stupid. Different alien though. We didn't share the alien. Yep. Well. Mm. Now the ship's gone, but the Decepticons and Autobots are probably still around. So yeah, um, I'm gonna make out with myself now. Clint Cowpoke just suggested he's going to make out with himself. What the hell? Where'd everybody go? Dun, dun, dun. No, it cannot be true. They're all gone. To the alien ship. And I got this shirt. I found... I was on the ship and... And and I found their uh, the aliens. Um, yeah, their gift shop. Where did everybody go? Then. We'll be back soon to transform your day into an adventure.